I'm Bella Ramos, and welcome to Nikwa Connection. Today we have singer-songwriters Nikki Ramos and Eric Martinek here to promote Eric Martinek's new album, Voodoo Love. So, Eric and Nikki, how do you go about writing songs? So first thing that I do when I write a song is I try to think of a hook. So I think about lyrics that I want that will be catchy and will stick in people's minds, and then I put vocals to it. So it's kind of like so I kind of do like a first like idea first rather than doing like writing out all the lyrics and then putting it to music. It's kind of a little bit of a different method, a little bit of both. Um, kind of similar to his, but kind of like on my own thing. I kind of really start with an idea. Um, so whether I'm talking about, this is cheesy, but love, or I'm talking about um, <laughs> also along the lines of love, heartbreak. <laughs> um, I start with the idea I jot down some lyrics that I I think are you know suitable to that idea, um, and I kind of take it part by part. If I have an idea for a chorus first, I'll do the lyrics for the chorus, and then I'll do the melody for the chorus. If I have an idea with you know verses first, I'll do the lyrics for the verse, and then the you know melody for the verse. It just kind of changes every time you write a song, though, you know. So in the process of like songwriting, I know a lot of uh, musicians do have writer's block. How do you guys handle that? So I don't really believe in uh, the whole myth of writer's block. I think it's called, I, I believe in liker's block. You're always gonna, you can always create ideas. It's just that some of them are not gonna be um, the way you want them to be. And that's totally okay and you have to acknowledge that. And you just have to keep writing from there because eventually it's gonna come out the way you want it to. And so I think it's just all about having that mentality to really get you past that point. Yeah, I don't really have anything to add. That was a beautiful <laughs> answer. <laughs> so when you do write songs, do you ever uh, imagine um, that someone else could uh, complement that song and make it better? Like, how do you go about collaborating with other musicians? So um, a lot of times I do, I'll finish writing the song, and then I like to show it to some of my musician friends. Um, so for instance, this ukulele song that we're going to sing later, um, I had like, the skeleton of the idea out, um, I, and I showed it to Nikki, and she had a bunch of different ideas for changing up the melody and the pace of the song. So doing that really helps um, kind of shape the, so the song in like a co-write mm -hmm. aspect. Otherwise, as far as collaborating with musicians, um, for some of the songs off my album, uh, I, I wanted to do a jazz combo for one of my songs called More In Love With You. And um, I called up my friend Luke Ivanovitz, um, also known as Templeton, and uh, he played vibraphone for um, for uh, all, uh, chorus on that. And also, I had um, Kyle Domingos, who's a junior here in Nikwa. Um, he played upright bass for it, so I was able to get that um, jazz combo feel to it. Awesome. And you too. Um, sometimes you just listen to your song, and there's something missing from it, or sometimes you think it's complete, but someone else's opinion um, will change your you know your view of on, or your perspective on that. Um, and that's okay because the more people who collaborate <coughs> on a project, uh, the more perspectives you'll get for that project. So the more audiences you'll, you know, in the future be able to um, complement. So I think collaborating with people is always a great idea. Awesome. So um, music has been like a big part of your guys' relationship, right? Definitely. So um, is that what brought you guys together? Like, how did you guys meet? Um, well, when I was a sophomore and Eric was a freshman, we both joined a jazz choir here at Nequa. It's called Wild Scats, which is predominantly you know, jazz standards, um, but sung in a choir instead of a band. And um, we hit it off from the start. Both of us are you know, very outgoing people, and I think you know, we kind of complement each other's voice. So from there, uh, we just started singing together. We started playing together all the time. Um, so we owe it all to Wild Scats Jazz. Uh. You yeah. have anything to add? No, nothing really to add other than um, having that like personal relationship. I know definitely helps when you're singing together because it's such like a mm -hmm. personal thing, you know, to use your voice. So to have trust in that person that you're singing with, and to be and to know that person, I think really makes a difference in, with performance. So um, you guys have probably you probably have um, performed countless um, gigs everywhere, like. Um, what's your favorite one that you guys have done together? Together, so a few years ago, um, we played Crystal Concert here. 
I feel weird saying we played Crystal concert. <laughs> we did a song Headline, for Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> we did a song. <laughs> Prelude, <you> know, <laughs> pretty big stuff. <laughs> we did a song for Crystal concert called Melakaliki Maka, mm -hmm. which is a Christmas tune, um, and I really liked it because it was the first time kazoo's have ever graced the Crystal concert stage. So yeah, we did Melakaliki Maka, but like an arrangement that had kazoos and I think ukulele, not um, guitar. No, there was a guitar. Okay, just kidding, it was a guitar. <laughs> um, and that was really fun to do, you know? Yeah, it was a good, um, definitely a good mix up, I think, for um, the Crystal Concert, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of serious tunes, um, as well as some fun ones. And this one was cool, because we got to wear like Hawaiian clothes on stage <laughs> and stuff, so it was pretty cool. It was silly. In contrast to that, do you have like a least favorite performance, individual or like together, that you've done? Um, last year, I sang the um, national anthem at the red carpet rally, and I voice cracked in front of the whole school. So that is my least favorite performance ever. Most memorable, but <laughs> least favorite. Probably like my least favorite slash like most odd performance I've done was um, recently over spring break. Um, I was in an Easter musical in this one church. They asked me to um, sing a, the role of Judas. And one of the songs they had to sing was um, Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. <laughs> so I was like screaming, wake me up inside in front of like a thousand churchgoers on Easter Sunday. So it was, very, it was very angsty, very weird, but that was fun. I know you're at DePaul right now, Nikki. Mm -hmm. um, is, how has that affected like your transition from music, high school to college? Well. In high school, I had a really, you know, structured connection with music. I went to choir every day. I had jazz, like, every Tuesday night. Um, but now, in college, it's a lot harder to forge that connection with music. So I don't find myself singing or performing as much. I did take a class on, you know, the music scene of Chicago. So that got me into looking into venues and things around the city. Um, other than that, all I do, a lot of my friends are in the, in the jazz studies program at DePaul. So, um... I will sing with them sometimes, and there's like funk shows sometimes that I'll sing with. Um, but other than that, I don't really have a structured connection to music that I wish I still had. All right, so we're gonna have um, you guys play "Smile" from Eric Marnek's album "Voodoo Love," and hope you guys like it. You can find "Voodoo Love" on uh, Spotify, SoundCloud, and. Apple Music, right? Yeah, pretty much wherever you find your music. Mm -hmm. It's on there. <laughs> okay, take it away. Da 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 
and the leaves and the summer breeze. I'll try my you can have a white eye. I'll go for miles and miles. Oh, just to see you. Oh, just to see you smile. Oh, just to see you. Oh, just to see you smile. There you have it, Eric Martinek and Nikki Ramos singing Smile from Eric Martinek's new album, Voodoo Love. That's, this has been Nikwa Connection, and I'm Bella Ramos. <laughs>